We're making potato salad. It's the staple of any real American refrigerator. I'm gonna use red potatoes because they were on sale. They come out better. We're gonna chop these into like about bite-sized pieces. You don't want them too big, but you don't want them too small. If they're too small, then they're gonna turn to mush in the water. It's a good size. See that? We have our water boiling or it's heating up. There's plenty of salt in that. It's just plain old boring chopping. But you want to make sure they're all cut uniform size because you don't want some potatoes more or less done than another piece of potatoes. I think al dente is good to do with potatoes for potato salad because you don't want mush. It'll just turn to mashed potato salad. And that's just not what we're going for. Are you kidding me? If I were to chop my finger off, this would get so many views. I know. So many. No. It would get a lot more views if I chop my finger off. Worth it? Another thing to think about when you're cutting your potatoes is if they're too big, the flavory goodness of the mayonnaise and the mixture will not stick to the outside as much. Wait, you know what I mean? There won't be as much room on the outside to make flavory goodness of the mayonnaise mixture stick to it. Surface area. Surface area. There won't be as much surface area. So this little guy will have a lot more flavor because it'll have a smaller piece. How am I trying to say this? What am I trying to say? If the potato slices or the potato pieces, what am I trying to say, are too big, then the flavor from the outside won't permeate into the inside. Surface area. You won't, they won't be as tasty. Well, these little nuggets are perfect. If that makes any sense at all, please let me know. It's snowing outside. Like, for real snowing. Good question. How many potatoes should you use? These are large size red potatoes. So I'm doing two potatoes per person. That'll be enough to have a little bit of leftovers. You know, if they were bigger potatoes, it'd only be one potato per person. If they were smaller potatoes, it might be more. Figure it out. Our potatoes are chopped. The water's boiling, so we're gonna go ahead and put the potatoes in carefully. We don't wanna burn ourselves. It's probably gonna take about 10 minutes to cook evenly through. But I'm going to set a timer for five just to make sure I can check. We don't want them to get too mushy. Now is a really good time to feed your starter. It's been five minutes, so we're going to check on our potatoes. If a fork can easily go through them, they're done. These are not done. I left them in for another three minutes see if they're done. So this is the tenderness we're going for. So leave it a little bit al dente. Rinse them, stick them in the fridge, and leave them there overnight. Or what time is it, Tally? 2.20. What time are we eating? Hours. So we're going to leave them in there a few hours. If you mix everything together before they're firmed up a little bit, then they're going to turn to mush. While the potatoes are in the fridge, we're going to get everything else right. Chop this red onion up. A couple hard boiled eggs. It's just Easter, so we happen to have these beautiful ones. Two's probably plenty. If we hard boil these correctly, the shell should come off easily. That does not appear to be the case. When you're done peeling them, pop them in the bowl. Rinse that one off, plop it in. We're going to chop up this onion. Small red onion is fine. I'm peeling a lot of things today. Notice I left the skin on the potatoes. I'm peeling the eggs, I'm peeling the onion. Potatoes, it's too much. Okay, I got some finely diced onion. Throw it in the bowl. I probably should have mashed the eggs up first. Grab a fork and wash. You don't want to mash the eggs up. It's like stabbing them like this, you know. Add a teaspoon of salt. Maybe a little more. Bunch of black pepper. Good fresh dill. It's like a quarter cup. Start with like a half cup of mayonnaise. Mix this all up. Delicious. We got our potatoes. We've been in the fridge. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Now we're gonna mix gently. We don't want to mash the potatoes while we're doing this, okay? So gently. Potato salad. For best results, you're going to want to let it sit overnight in the fridge. But it'll be pretty good right now, too. When it sits overnight in the fridge, all the stuff kind of congeals and all the flavors melt. And it gets soaked into the potato. Got it? Good. Enjoy. Thank you, everyone, for watching, subscribing, sharing, liking, commenting, contributing. Please remember to check in on your loved ones, wash your hands, and support local business. Love you and miss you. Bye.